Welcome back to another episode of White Claws and World News. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We got some crazy shit today because the world is a fucked up place. I'm going to start right there. The world is a completely messed up place. And the reason I say this is because of what's been happening with the amazing, the very talented Justin Bieber. If you guys haven't seen this, it is absolutely terrible. It makes me want to throw up. It makes me feel disgusted. Um, everything that's been going on with the Me Too, the Me Too movement has obviously been so uh, so personal to people. So you know, people have gone through tragic experiences, and I can't say that I've been through anything even nearly as crazy or as fucked up as that is. Um, but you guys. This is completely out of hand. The allegations against Justin Bieber, if you guys have not seen it, basically somebody came out and said that, you know, Bieber um, essentially raped her. And, and I look, I, I don't know if this was a, in an effort to, to defame him, to, you know, shit on him, to fuck up his career. Like, it could have been anything. People are obviously evil, but... You guys, it, there's a couple things that, that really make this really, really messed up in my mind, right? Now, the first thing is Bieber didn't do it, right? And the way we know that is because this is the first time, at least I've ever seen, an, not even just the A-list celebrity, the probably the biggest celebrity in the world, Justin Bieber, the biggest pop star in the world, he actually clapped back at this person who who made these allegations and he's, he showed receipts, he showed... Um, you know, uh, some stuff about the hotel that he was at. He showed a bunch of different actual, factual, tangible things that are complete proof to show that he wasn't at that place, at that hotel. I believe it was the Four Seasons or something. He was at a different hotel with Selena Gomez. He was at, he was doing something completely different. And he actually, he decided he's not going to sit there and tolerate the bullshit. He actually decided to clap back. And I am so, I am so uh, just happy i'm just really happy that he did that because you know a lot of times people will let the media kind of take control and sort of be the voice and sort of um dictate actually what's going on and put certain perceptions in people's minds but you guys Bieber's fucking he stood up man he really did stand up for himself and he he had proof man shout out to his team for having all those receipts because if he didn't things may not have gone in his favor um but the other thing is, when, when you make allegations like this, and you say that someone, you know, regardless if they're a celebrity, if they're not, when you make allegations and you say that this person did something to you that is really, really, really terrible, like rape and other things of that nature, you are completely, uh, I don't know if demeaning is the right word, but all of the times that people have made truthful allegations and, and said, hashtag me too, when those things actually happened, you're completely taking away their credibility and you're completely fucking up um, that entire thing. My cat just came into the uh, the office. Can't get five minutes alone, huh? Um, no, like it's it's just so messed up and there he is. What's up, buddy? Yeah, it's just, it's so messed up. And again, shout out to his, for Bieber's team for, for having everything and for him clapping back and showing the world that Look, this is not going to be tolerated. People do this, and this is not the first time it's happened. It's happened with many people, many celebrities. I'm sure it's happened even more times with people that we don't hear about in the media or in the news. But you guys, it's it's a messed up world. It, it's just it's such a messed up thing to do. And I don't know if they do it for the clout. They do it for trying to hurt someone's career. They do it for trying to put somebody down, or you know, doing it from a for revenge purposes, it could be a mix of anything, but the point is, I don't think people are going to tolerate it anymore, and if it didn't happen, you can't, you can't, you just can't do it, it is fucked up, so, yeah, man, that's it for that segment, I mean, big shout out to Justin Bieber for, for standing up for himself, um, and I hope that moving forward, you know, men and, and women are both very conscious about the things that they say, the content that they put out, you know, the accusations they make. Um, and I was listening to my client, uh, Logan Paul, his, um, his podcast, Impulsive, today, where he talks about um, allegations. Someone actually put out, I guess, an 18-minute video um, saying stuff about how Logan did X, Y, and Z to her. And he was just like, what the? Like, this is, none of this is true. Like, none of this is true. So 
you know, it, it sucks. Uh, it sucks to see people that, you know, that are succeeding. People who are doing good things for the world. You know, Bieber's donated a ton of money. Logan Paul's done a lot of things. He's given away, I think, 30,000 masks to people. Um, you know, and of course, everyone's got their up and downs. Bieber had his phases. Logan Paul, you know, had his phases or whatever. He had a certain incident, you know, that happened back in the day. But the point is, is that everyone makes mistakes, right? And it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. And I just, I, I hate to see these kinds of things. I mean, it, it really fucks me up. So, whew, hopefully, uh, hopefully this can be a lesson learned to everybody. Um, and please just be conscious of those accusations that you make. Because it, it can really ruin someone's life. It can ruin their career. It can ruin their family. It can ruin a whole rela relationships. It can, it can ruin a lot of things. So... Yeah, that's uh, that's one of the things I really wanted to talk about in today's podcast because um, it, it just really, really, really bothered me, and it, it just, you know, it it didn't sit right. So, um, so yeah. Anyways, let's <laughs> let's talk about something else. Yeah, um, what else is going on in the world, man? I don't even really know. Coronavirus, obviously. I just got an email today that LA County is in fact opening up, and there are requirements. You got to wear a mask. You got to do all these certain things, um, and hopefully, you know we uh we can all come through with this and and not you know fuck it up and we can all be conscious of what we're doing in terms of washing our hands wearing masks when we need to going out in public and making sure that we've got you know again masks on making sure that we're not uh you know hanging out in groups now the thing is are people really going to take this seriously moving forward i don't know because people have really like just lost their shit people want to get out there people want to do things including myself right like i don't want to be sitting here doing absolutely nothing so Hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, there's no, uh, no increase in cases. There's nothing, um, you know, there's just nothing, uh, that happens with, with COVID moving forward. And I'm looking at the news right now and it's saying that, oh God, yep. Big increase in cases. Well, that completely fucking messes up exactly what I was talking about. Uh, I'm not going to lie, guys. I didn't really have anything prepared for this podcast today. I just wanted to kind of talk about the whole Bieber situation because, you know, again, that just kind of um, just kind of rubbed me the wrong way, man. And it's not just because I'm a, you know, a Bieber fan. <laughs> it's just it's because of a lot of things. Um, you know, I've, I've had friends who've been abused in the past. I've had friends who've been, you know, uh, through a lot of tough times. And I it's just when people do these fake allegations it makes people maybe reconsider uh, the allegations that are made from people who have actually gone through those traumatic events. So, anyways, guys, uh, what else we got? Um, oh, Justin Bieber and Quavo's Intentions hits number one on the pop song chart, which is great. It's a great song. Uh, the whole project, I mean, Bieber really, really, really crushed it. Um, and... It's uh, apparently him and Haley Baldwin have been talking about having kids. It'd be kind of interesting to see what the little Biebs looks like. And I'm sure he's going to be a rock star. And I'm sure he's going to be, you know, be a singer or an actor or something. Or do something in entertainment. Um, and uh, it looks like uh, Bieber just tweeted, actually. Let's see what he said. He said, I'm joining the Global Goal Unite for a future concert on June 27th to combat the disproportionate impact COVID has on communities of color and call on world leaders to make testing treatments and vaccines available to everybody. Uh, I don't know if that means he's doing a concert, but I would think that doing a concert right now is probably not the best idea, just based on everything that's going on. Uh, so hopefully he doesn't do a concert because concerts are, you know, again, not the, uh, not the best thing to do right now. Um, Anyways, guys, I'll be honest, man. I don't really have anything else. I really just wanted to talk about Bieber's situation. So I think I'm going to just call it. I'm going uh, to just call it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, it's your boy, Division of Swanee. Make sure you guys stay tuned for another episode of White Claws and World News coming real soon. Again, please, please, please take these Me Too um, conversations and issues very seriously. This is not a light matter at all. People go through some terrible, terrible, terrible shit that no one, no one no one should ever have to go through. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, it's your boy Division Vaswani, and I'll see you guys in the next episode coming real soon. Peace.